Tuesday the 28th of November, 2023. First reading. Reading from the book of Daniel. Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, You have had a vision, O king. This is what you saw. A statue, a great statue of extreme brightness, stood before you, terrible to see. The head of this statue was of fine gold, its chest and arms were of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet part iron, part earthenware. While you were gazing, a stone broke away, untouched by any hand, and struck the statue, struck its feet of iron and earthenware and shattered them. And then iron and earthenware, bronze, silver, gold all broke into small pieces as fine as chaff on the threshing floor in summer. The wind blew them away, leaving not a trace behind. And the stone that had struck the statue grew into a great mountain, filling the whole earth. This was the dream. Now we will explain to the king what it means. You, O king, king of kings, to whom the God of heaven has given sovereignty, power, strength and glory the sons of men, the beasts of the field, the birds of heaven, wherever they live, he has entrusted to your rule, making you king of them or you are the golden head. And after you another kingdom will rise, not so great as you, and then a third of bronze, which will rule the whole world. There will be a fourth kingdom, hard as iron, as iron that shatters and crushes all. Like iron that breaks everything to pieces, it will crush and break all the earlier kingdoms. The feet you saw, part earthenware, part iron, are a kingdom which will be split in two, but which will retain something of the strength of iron, just as you saw the iron and the clay of the earthenware mixed together. The feet were part iron, part earthenware. The kingdom will be partly strong and partly weak. And just as you saw the iron and the clay of the earthenware mixed together, so the two will be mixed together in the seed of man. But they will not hold together any more than iron will blend with earthenware. In the time of these kings the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and this kingdom will not pass into the hands of another race. It will shatter and absorb all the previous kingdoms, and itself last forever just as you saw the stone and touched by hand break from the mountain and shatter iron, bronze, earthenware, silver and gold. The great God has shown the king what is to take place. The dream is true, the interpretation exact. Responsorial Psalm All things the Lord has made, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Angels of the Lord, all bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Heavens, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Powers of the Lord, all bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Alleluia, Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was adorned with fine stonework and votive offerings, Jesus said, All these things you are staring at now the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another. Everything will be destroyed. And they put to him this question. Master, they said, When will this happen, then, and what sign will there be that this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said. Because many will come using my name and saying, I am he and, the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them. And when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened. For this is something that must happen, but the end is not so soon. Then he said to them, Nation will fight against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines here and there. There will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. Gospel of the Lord.